Hey everybody, uh, out here on my birthday today, taking a neat little hike. Behind me you can see, this is called Scraggly Lake. We're up on a thing called uh, Owl's Head Lookout, I think it's called. And uh, just a really neat spot out here, out enjoying the day. I'm going to start walking back down here, a little bit very rocky here underneath me. As you can see all around here, big rocks everywhere. Um, and speaking of big rocks, <laughs> Uh, just going to give my opinion on this whole Georgia Guidestone thing. Um, heard about this thing that it was uh, somebody blew it up or whatever else, and a lot of people are rejoicing and saying, "Oh, this is so great!" You know, people are waking up to the new world order. We're having it turn around, and you know, maybe Donald Trump is the one that blew it up or something, or you know, we're draining the swamp and all this other stuff. I mean, um, well, I hate to burst your bubble, but. Uh, this whole thing is just part of the, like the whole overturning of Roe v. Wade thing. While I'm thankful that Roe v. Wade was overturned, I'm also smart enough to realize that it's not quite as cut and dry as all that. It's a little bit treacherous back here right now. You'll have to excuse me because of the, we had a lot of rain, so everything's a little bit slippery. Normally I'd be able to pretty much just walk down any of this, but... It's pretty steep, but um, you know, any time at all, I want you to learn something here. Any time at all that you see some event happened, and they have security cameras all over the place, and they only release part of it, um, and oh, you know, here's a vehicle driving away, and here's the thing actually blowing up, but you know, we're still working on who did this. Well. Compare that to your convenience store robberies. Did they do that? No. Um, this bank was robbed. This convenience store was robbed. And uh, here's the suspect. If you know who this is, please give the police department a call. Blah, blah, blah. But you have a useless monument. A ridiculous, pathetic, satanic monument. Um, that gets blown up. And we can't release the video of who did it. Uh, yeah, was it some government official, you know, military operation, uh, Navy SEAL team or whatever? I have no idea, no way to know that. Um, but what you know from this whole thing is if they have security camera video footage, they should be showing at least who it was, you know. Um, so there's that. But why do people just jump onto this thing right away where they say, um, oh, it's so good, it's so wonderful. Uh, we're seeing it turn around. Things are turning around. We're seeing God's blessing coming. Uh, they're doing that because they don't want to deal with their own personal issues with sin. Uh, a lot of the guys I've watched that are doing this, they freely watch Hollywood movies and partake in all the wicked, sinful things of this world. But they'll talk, you know, they give lip service to the Lord. They'll, they'll mention him, in other words. But uh, personal accountability for sin? No, that's, uh, that's something that we're not really interested in. We don't want to talk about that. You see, the way, way a nation comes back is not by taking action against the global elites or the New World Order or the, you know, hierarchy, the Jesuits, the Bilderbergers, the whatever. That's not it. A nation is brought back in line with God by personal repentance, personal accountability for sin that's been done. And uh, ironically, most righteous people never commit abortion. But, you know, yet it's some kind of a special victory to get rid of Roe v. Wade. Well, like I said, it's not really getting rid of it. It's just simply making it illegal in certain states. Other states, it's still legal. Or at least it will be still legal when all the legislation and everything gets uh, taken care of and whatever else. So, excuse me about the camera shaking here. So just watch out for it, brethren. It's it's easy to get caught up in the in the world. You know, the Bible talks about uh, it's a cursed. It's a cursed thing there. That uh, cursed is the man that maketh the flesh his arm. I think is how the verse goes. Um, 
And yeah, you have to remember that. It's about the Lord. It's about, am I right with God? What is my personal relationship like with God? And, uh, you know, everybody gets that in line and starts to say, you know what? God, have mercy on us for our sins. God, have mercy. I'm sorry, Lord. I didn't, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have laughed at that. I shouldn't have watched that. I shouldn't listen to that. I shouldn't partake in these evil things here. Uh, it's slippery, man, back here. <laughs> Don't want to go down with the uh, camera in my hand here. But uh, that's the issue. Not, um, hey, we're going to defeat the New World Order and there are patriots rising up that are going to wage war against the globalists and, you know. No. Um, America as, a, as an empire is done. It's finished. We are in the collapse phase. We're not even pre-collapse anymore. We are in the collapse phase. Total collapse right now. And um, most people... Getting close to the end of the rock area here. Most people really don't even care. They, to them, it's just sort of a, um, you know, we should be allowed to continue. We are entitled to have electricity and running water and plenty of food in the grocery store and whatever else. And we have a right to all that stuff. Um, the Bible says, having food and raiment, let us be there with content. 1 Timothy chapter 6. Food and raiment. Clothing, in other words. Now you're to be content with that. If you get reduced to food and raiment, are you going to be content? That's the question. So, I guess that's it for my rant here. Um, it's nice to be able to walk again without fear of breaking my neck. <laughs> but uh, down here in the sort of the cedar swamp area now, um, now we're going to come down out of the higher rocky area. Now we get back down into the where all the bugs are at. Mostly mosquitoes right now. The black flies are pretty much done. But this has been kind of an off year for Bugs, they haven't been real bad this year, at least around here, because of the wimpy winter, and and then it was actually fairly cool this summer so far, so. Uh, but that will be it, I guess, for this video. Just uh, please guard your mind, brethren. You know, we are Bible believers. The Bible is our final authority. And um, we will not be swayed by popular opinion or sensational stories or whatever else. So uh, if you can get out and enjoy nature wherever you're at, it's a good thing. So I will turn here and give you one last look of Scraggly Lake here in beautiful Maine, northern Maine. and. Um, Thank you to everybody out there uh, for watching. Please leave your comments below. I'd like to see what you think about this whole Georgia Guidestone explosion thing. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, hit the like button if you want to, whatever. I'm not monetized, so, but it helps the channel grow. So um, that'll be it. See you in the next video.